You already know it's beast enemy clan, so it makes sense. Three major signs that you're dealing with a wicked wife or girlfriend. Number one, you're going to feel restricted. You're going to feel oppressed. It's going to be a heavy burden, and she cannot be controlled. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 26, 7, an evil wife is a yoke shaken to and from. He that have hold of her is as though he held a scorpion. See, if you ever looked at those cows back in the day when they have that chaff yoke and that iron around their neck and that wood that they're walking, they have restricted movement and it's constantly cutting their back. You're going to feel restricted. It's going to be painful as well because you're going to realize that you're oppressed. That there's no way that you can grow in this situation. She's going to be a heavy burden. You're too caught up in her drama in her situation that she have going on, maybe with her or her family or friends, whatever the case may be. And she cannot be controlled because the Bible tells us it's as though you held a scorpion. That's very unstable. It's unsafe. You're not going to be comfortable holding the scorpion because you don't know at any moment it can sting you. At any moment. So that's one of the major things to look out for. Number two, she won't follow your directions or put you first. She doesn't obey the hierarchy and won't listen to your wants and needs. In Ecclesiastes 25, 26, it tells us, if she go not as thy would have her. That means she doesn't go with your program. She doesn't listen to you. See, the Bible tells that men rule your household well. That women are supposed to be in subjection to their husbands. If she's not in subjection to you, that means she's not going to go the way they used to have her. So the Bible says give her a bill of divorce. In that very same verse. She doesn't want to get on your program. Move on. Number three. She does not comfort you during hard times. You will be afraid to make decisions. She will keep you in a lowly state of mind. And Ecclesiastes 25, 23 tells us a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress and make a weak hands and feeble knees. And I'm going to tell you why. She's going to put you in a state of mind that you can't get nothing done. Almost like you're just unable to achieve anything great. Instead of being there for you and pushing you and giving you that support necessary for you to go out into the world and, and you know and be that king and be that person that's going to provide for his family. She's not doing that. When you come on hard times instead of she's like giving in to the uh to the situation. She's like, "Oh, you know what? Don't worry about it. You can't do it anyway or you know what? You know, I, you just you know, you're useless. You you just can't get anything done." Instead of encouraging you, she's going to make it harder for you. That's why he said weak uh, hands and feeble knees. You're unable to go and be productive in the situation when somebody's constantly, you know, manipulating the situation or maybe want you in a lowly state so you can't leave. So you got to watch out for these signs. It's very vital. And just make sure that you separate. Maybe you have to be set apart. Make sure that you enter in at the straight and narrow path. And some people ain't meant to go there with you.